Commander, this is Vice Admiral Narlock, commanding the Republic 29th Fleet. Welcome to Mekshaw. Thank you. Should I join you aboard your ship? Negative. It's best that we meet on the station. I have a local contact who's helping me arrange refueling for our ships. Your Jedi friends are already here. Send the coordinates now. Narlock out. friend of mine. He served 30 years in the Republic Navy, and now he's Mekshaw's chief engineer. Call me Junker. Everyone does. And chief engineer is a bit fancier than we like around here. Me and my crew just keep things running. Lights, water, atmosphere. Mekshaw's neutral officially, but me and mine will back the Republic to the end. Whatever you need, we'll help you get. 30 years in the service. That's quite a career. You must have seen a lot. Mostly access hatches and fuel lines. Engies don't get pretty views like officers, but I've had an exciting moment or two. Junker's been working to get us the fuel we need, but it isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, Mekshaw's neutral, so your ships don't get topped off until the powers that be vote on it. See, Mekshaw used to be run by the Huts. The locals kicked them out while they were distracted with Mikhail, then started running things themselves. So all the big decisions come down to a vote by the leaders of the five biggest crews. Lucky for you, I'm one of them. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt, so now she runs the docks. She'll vote for you. Fuel sales go straight into her pocket. So you just need one more vote. Unfortunately, I'm no diplomat. <laughs> and sorry, Junker, but neither are you. So you need us to get the last vote? and stop whatever the Empire has planned. What else did Darth Savick tell us? We're dealing with Darth Shar. She's the Dark Counselor in charge of Imperial Logistics, which doesn't sound very scary. Maybe, but you don't make the Dark Council just by getting supplies delivered on time. Never underestimate a Sith. If you're looking for Sith, they'll be with the Brothers. Bunch of creepy slavers down on the lower levels. Empire is their biggest customer. We can bet they'll show up in force as soon as the fleet starts refueling. We'd better plan out our defenses ahead of time. Could Arn and I scout out the docks a bit? I'd like to see what we're dealing with. Of course. I'll take you myself. We'll catch up with you later, Commander. All right, just us now. No need to put on airs. I know what you're thinking. Because I think it too. You've got a whole big fleet out there and a tiny rock full of lowlifes here. Why not just roll in and take what you need? A place like this doesn't stay independent. They don't have some impressive security. You're just as sharp as you look. Hutbreaker has a failsafe rigged up. Push a button, it fires a pulse that makes all the fuel on the station inert. It takes weeks to make the fuel useful again. Not the way you want to go, trust me. I got a much easier route for you. Hutbreaker's hosting an auction at her stronghold on the other side of the station. All the crew leaders will be there, and I can get you in is your best chance to start winning that last vote. You've dealt with these crews more than any of us. Any pointers? I try to stay out of their business as much as I can. Just steer clear of the brothers. Now, let me just get a few things sorted and we'll get you on your way. One up! Saber. Sith trying to take you out already? In the middle of my turf? I don't know. He felt strange in the Force. Shrouded, somehow. Besides, why wear a mask when his lightsaber is so obvious? Doesn't make sense. Don't ask me why Sith do what they do. 
I always figured the ones who wear the mask just don't feel scary enough without them. Spader's that way. I'll meet you at Hutbreaker's place in a bit. Gonna put more droids on perimeter security. Blasted Sith think they can just strut right in here. Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'm not here to con anyone. The Republic will give them a fair deal for the fuel. Settling for fair isn't what got these people to the top on Mech Shah. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. What about the brothers? Jot mentioned they work with the Empire. Yeah, they're slavers, all part of some weird religious cult. The Empire buys most of their stock. A lot of the refugees who come through here end up in the brothers' pens, and Hutbreaker isn't above throwing troublemakers their way, too. Needless to say, you won't be getting their vote for anything that helps the Republic. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. First is Veet the Sneak. He runs a Rhodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wall. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gun runners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Is there anything else I should know? We'll keep our eyes open for any other big players, but I'm sure you can handle these guys. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things. Who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy this speech? I think the Republic might not give in so easily. Time will tell. In the meantime, enjoy your hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep 
the peace. You can keep the peace, can't you? Narlock gave me his word. Servants of the Republic often espouse high ideals, even as their deeds tell a very different story. No need to be rude. Commander, this is Darth Shah. Dark Counselor in charge of production, logistics, and civil order. How do you do? What brings you to Mechshaw, exactly? Oh, a few minor import-export violations that I wish to resolve. Nothing terribly interesting. I'm sure refueling your warships will be much more exciting. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you could talk about, but we do have a previous appointment. Enjoy the auction, Commander. I do hope we get to meet again soon. I've heard you enslave people and sell them to the highest bidder. You have heard truth. Consider yourself blessed. There is purity in truth as there is purity in labor. We take beings without value and give them value. We give labor to those who suffer without purpose. Our works enable greater works. Our labors create laborers. Useless beings are made useful again. The galaxy is made better. If that's what you really think, you're beyond help. Correct. We require no assistance. Our path is obvious. Your words waste breath that could be used productively. This entire event is a waste. We will witness no more of it. What do you want? Not much for small talk, are you? No, I'm not. I don't know how much you are, neither. We wouldn't be talking unless you wanted something. So what is it? I'm here for the same reason as everyone else. To meet people, establish mutually beneficial relationships. If you think Darmanda want to fight and die in your little war, you're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Meksha. Who are the Darmanda, anyway? What's your story? Give me a break. I saw your friends feed you intel on everyone in here earlier. What a point in a whispering. You know who we are. It might be worth your time to make a good impression on me. There are benefits to being my ally. <laughs> Seems to me there'd be just as many downsides. Maybe we can help each other, though. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe the canteen will there, and we'll see. Que faguta de obora geoto caquice. De monte que caça do bonilis de oto. Chai con crunta chichai. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Ma que puna male tuta o nishka. Conchita chichakta. Cusa mala chicuta e cosa mose ala chuta. Coba ne puta tai se chescusco. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ship? Kasuyali koyaran kenka kurum. Klis kataka yos osko uko pokuta. Makipu na mali tuta o nishka. Kuso malachikuta iko sa mose ala tuta. The sooner the better. Van paula kavaji oto. What do you have in mind? Pula wa mi chade sula. Kastu undile jio hola lukuta. Tungi machechu kuti nanki he. Wana wa de bloto wichawa. Had enough fun for one night? I'm finished here. We heard about the assassin earlier. Glad you're still in one piece. They should have known one Sith wouldn't cut it with you. I'm honestly not convinced they were an assassin at all. Strange. But I guess we have no choice but to keep moving forward. On the bright side, 
The docks aren't the defensive nightmare I was afraid they'd be. Plenty of good choke points, blind corners, and elevated positions. Hutbreaker doesn't want an invasion, so Narlock's only allowed to bring a limited deployment. He's rounding up his best troops now. Got a lot of practice working on droids on Osis, so I'll help Junker modify his service droids to help us fight. In the meantime, I sent Arn to stake out the Brothers' territory and watch for Imperial activity. If they send anyone after us, we'll know. How is Arn handling his lessons? He's a quick study. Much better than he thinks he is. Honestly, once he learns to believe in himself, he'll be fine. And what about you? How do you feel about being his teacher? It's not as bad as I was afraid it'd be. I think the old man just gave me an easy one to start off with. But I have to admit, he was right. Teaching someone else really helps solidify the basics for yourself, you know? Helps you focus on what's important. We best get moving. Let us know how it goes with the crew leaders, huh? If you need anything, just say the word and we'll be there. Well, well, you showed up. <laughs> I prefer doing business here. Better drinks, no dress code, industrial waste disposal on the back if there's trouble. Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> People usually like that one. Oh, they immediately turn and run. Both work for me. It was a joke. You can relax here. Sit down. Let's continue our little discussion. You're in a much better mood than you were at Hutbreakers. Well, it's hard to cut loose in a room full of people who'd flush you out of an airlock if it made business sense. Here I get to sit in my corner. My bartender knows how to make them. And people don't pretend to like me. So, yeah, let's start with what exactly you want from me. The Republic fleet has to get that fuel. I want you to vote to sell it to them. <laughs> I get it. You want to buy my vote? Very upstanding. Well, everything's for sale at the right price. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. How can I be sure you'll hold up your end? Vote first, then we'll discuss payment. Or, maybe we don't make a deal at all. You're the one who came to me, remember? Here's my situation. You know that slimy little rhodium Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmanda gets to blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards, and I'll be in a nice spot. So. There it is. Take out Vic, and the vote's yours. You can count on me. Vic is as good as dead. Take this communicator and get somewhere out of the way. Buzz Vic with it, and he'll think Hutbreaker's calling for him. Use it to call me when the job's done. Once I see it with my own eyes, we'll be golden. If you tell anyone about this, you won't live to regret it. Understand? I can keep a secret if you can. Arn, is that you? Listen, I need your help. There are slaves. Dozens of them. The brothers are loading them into shuttles. Imperial shuttles. We have to stop them. Tao is your master, Arn. You should be talking with her about this, not me. She told me not to interfere, but I can't just sit back and watch this happen. Monsters. The worst scum in the galaxy. But I, I don't want to kill them. I didn't want to kill any of them. I just... I had 
had to. They didn't give me any other choice, did they? There was no other way to get to the slaves and free them before it was too late. What else could I do? Was there some other way? Please, I have to know. You have to tell me. I wasn't here, Arn. You were. You made the call and you saved those people. But that's the problem. I made the call. No one else, just me. Thou doesn't know, but... When I was injured, the people we were fighting, they were slavers too. Back then, I, I couldn't stop them. Years of recovery and pain. Maybe I didn't want there to be another way. Maybe... Maybe I saw my chance to get payback, and I took it. I don't think that's who I am. I don't want that to be who I am. But part of me is glad they're dead. You shouldn't have been here alone. That's Tao's fault, not yours. No. She didn't know. I should have been able to handle this myself. I should get out of here before more reinforcements show up. The slaves are safe. Let's just... Let's go. You didn't just hit the brothers, you practically wiped them out. We're supposed to be keeping the peace. I'll sort that out with Arn myself. Honestly, the galaxy won't miss a pack of slavers, and neither will I. You think I care that those creeps are gone? I'd give you a medal if I could. It's Hutbreaker who wants our hides over it. Is she still willing to sell us the fuel? Yes, for an extra 40%. Then let's stick to the mission, and let me handle Arn, all right? I agree. We need to focus on getting those ships fueled. The vote went in our favor. So I've got the fleet organized and ready to start refueling. Safe bet the imps will show up as soon as we start. So we'd better get ourselves into position right away. I'll meet you all here at the docks. Hey, hold up. We need to talk. I might be new to being a teacher, but I can't help my student at all if nobody tells me when he's in trouble. You should have called me when Arn contacted you. Helping him is my job, and I deserve the chance to do it. Arn didn't want to involve you. I was trying to respect that. I get that, but if he always knew what was best, he wouldn't be the student. He needed his master to support him, and I needed the chance to prove that I would. Best troops. Wish I could bring more, but we're on thin ice with Hutbreaker as it is. There are three main approaches the Imps could use for their assault. The main catwalks, the maintenance tunnels, or the docks themselves via shuttle. The main catwalk is the most direct route, so we'll have our strongest defense there. Commander, that's you. All right. What about the other routes? Arn and I would be best for the tunnels. In close quarters like that, they'll never make it past our lightsabers. My droids know those tunnels better than anyone. I'll send them to back you up. My troops will cover the docks as best they can. But our anti-aircraft weapons are limited. Once our ships start refueling, weapons and docking bays are disabled. We can help with that. V5K shoulder launched anti-aircraft missiles. Self-guiding, high velocity, top of the line. Bonus for services rendered. Will Hubbreaker be mad that you're getting involved like this? I see a market need. I provide products to fill it. Not politics, just business. Good hunting. Sounds like we're ready. May the Force be with us all. We can do this. We must do this. For the Republic! It's over. Drop your weapon. It's been a long day, my friend. I'm doing what I came here to do. 
Don't make me kill you first. I've never seen better timing in my life. You? You're the Alliance commander. Guess we're done then. If you can kill the Sith Emperor, I don't really like my odds. <laughs> Mission now. Banter later. Narlock is here. They were trying to activate the failsafe, but we stopped them in time. We got them on the run down here. That's where I clear. Outstanding work, everyone. Let's regroup outside. We did it! We actually did it! Combined with the fleet from Onderon, our odds of victory are climbing. Vice Admiral Nala, I look forward to seeing you at the rendezvous. Please set out as soon as possible. Of course, General. Thank you all. You saved my ships. And you may have saved the whole of the Republic. Thanks to your heroism, the Republic will have enough ships to challenge Malgus's armada when they arrive at Corellia. But numbers are no guarantee of victory, and our foe is known for his cunning. You have my coordinates. Meet me right away. The battle is about to begin. Well, it's been a bucket of fun, but these old bones need a good three or four day nap. Stay spry, kids. Junkers out. Thank Hutbreaker and the others for us. Yeah, yeah. No sign of Shar anywhere on Mechshaw. She might have died on one of the shuttles that Narlock's troop shot down. Or she bailed as soon as the fight didn't go her way. That would definitely fit her profile. What do you think about this prisoner, Anri? Will we get anything useful out of her? Hand her over to Lana. And we'll know for sure. I'll pass that on to Narlock, but... I wouldn't get your hopes up. I guess we'll see you at the rendezvous. This will be my first time back on Corellia since the last time. Can't believe it's been so long. I never expected to be fighting the Empire on Corellia again. I hoped we were past all that. Maybe if we win, it'll stick this time. See you there, Commander. Leaving already? No time to stop for a few drinks? What? Ser seriously? No. Come on. You really do have a way with people. We received coordinates for your strategy meeting with General Derun. They included rather explicit instructions that only you should attend. I can't imagine why they wouldn't be comfortable sharing their battle plans with some of your friends. You're my top advisors. I'll make sure they include you from now on. Or don't. Personally, I wouldn't mind fewer meetings. The shuttle is ready when you are. 